This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. I'm joined by Anderson Silver's son, Gabriel Silver, today over Zoom. Gabe, it's good to see you. How are you doing? Doing good, man. How are you, bro? All good, all good. Whereabouts in America are you joining me from today? Uh, California. Oh, well, whereabouts in California? LA? Oh, yeah, LA, LA area. Oh, blimey. I was literally just in LA a few weeks ago. I should have come, nice. come and popped over and said hi. Um, We'll just go straight into it. Ben the Bane Davis is your opponent. Your thoughts on him and this matchup? I don't know much about him. Uh, I just they just offered me the guy. I didn't really look much into it. I just accepted. I thought it was a good challenge, and I accepted a fight. I don't know much about the guy to be honest. That's fair. That's fair. Um, one thing that's been brought up a few times that he said on Twitter is that you haven't turned up to the face to face kind of the Zoom misfits meeting. Is there any comment on that? Uh, I just been busy, man. Just um, I'm a busy body. I just stayed training, you know, and and uh, it was honestly I I didn't even thought I was gonna have time for this because I have to go somewhere. So I'm a busy man, man. So that's fair. You're a fighter. <laughs> you got stuff exactly. to do. Places to a be. real one. <laughs> um, wait, 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 what do you mean? What do you mean, real one? I, I guess everyone's real, aren't they? They're real in their own worlds, you know. I'm in the real world, you know. I train, I spar, I spar and train with real um, world champions and like high level athletes. So, if I in my world, I consider that real. So I don't know what those guys are doing over there. <laughs> Do you like the Misfits world? Are you familiar with it? It's pretty cool. There's some really talented guys, man. Uh, I train with Dean, so Dean Dean is is a really talented guy. I've seen him put in real work with some real high level guys. So I consider that real in my world. So. Yeah, there's there's some high level athletes in there for sure. So you training at Brickhouse Boxing then? That boxing gym? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been I've been to a few gyms here here in LA, but yeah, uh, for this camp I've been based out of um, Brickhouse. Oh, okay, because Brian Valoria, he's kind of the main coach down there. Who's your coach? Yeah, Brian Valoria is my main coach. Me, oh, nice, me. nice. I love Brian. Yeah, yeah, Brian is the greatest guy ever, man. He's got some good stories. I remember Brian. He always tells me about this story when he was world champion. Or just won the world title. Um, he was telling me that you can ask him about this yourself. And he was like, Fred, man, when I was world champion, I was on a private jet. He was like, there was a tiger on the private jet I was flying on. I was like, Brian, are you serious? He's like, yeah, man, there's a tiger on the private jet I was flying on. I was like, right, okay. <laughs> so Brian's always got some, always got some interesting stories to say the least. Yeah, um, like, cool but we'll guy. talk about misfits in general. Do you look to box consistently on misfits, or is it a sort of one and done thing for yourself? Uh, for, I don't have any plans, honestly, right now, but for this, for this upcoming battle, it's just a one fight thing. And then I got other things, uh, lined up for October, November. So. Okay. That's fair. And I guess you enjoy, if you love the experience, then you might be back in the promotion. Yeah. Just to try it out. See if I like it. If, if I get adjusted into that ecosystem, I'll, I'll be back for sure. Have you been to the UK before? Uh, no. First time. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, it should be interesting every american always complains dean especially they always complain about the food here the weather i never really hear much positive stuff from the americans how's the the out there? sorry how's the weather out there it's not good i'm gonna be completely honest with you mate it's not good <laughs> bring a jumper because i guess you guys will find it especially cold yeah it's cold so I think it's it's probably like my hometown because I was born in Curitiba, Brazil, and it's always like that. And a lot of people say it's similar to the UK, so I probably get adjusted to it. It rains a lot as well here. Like yeah. a good few days of raining. Yeah, it's not the the weather ain't the the strong point. Certainly, other country. What country's season are you guys in right now? Sorry. What season are you guys in right now? We're in summer. Summer. <laughs> Rainy on summer. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine yeah. what it's like when it's winter here. Nice. <laughs> you're like, yeah. I will, more, you're like, this is, one, this is more like my one time I'm fighting in the UK. You ain't coming back here after. It's a one and done thing for you fighting over here. Um, let's talk to me about the fight, though. Will your father, Anderson Silva, will he be attending? Uh, pretty most likely not. Uh, my dad's just a busy body, so I didn't even want to bother with him coming. But I don't know if he changes his mind. He might, but I don't know. As far as right now, I don't think he will. Do you feel fighting, honestly, is Anderson Silva's son, one of the goats of the scene and the combat sports scene? Do you feel like you've got a chip on your shoulder? Uh, there's, it's always going to have a, you always have a responsibility, you know, to your name. You want to make sure you're prepared and you're well trained and also you can carry on the legacy. But uh, 
I used to, that used to uh, weigh heavy on me a lot, but I, I, I've been, I, I adjusted to it uh, along the years. So I feel like it's not a problem to me anymore. So, yeah. And when you go sparring, obviously, so you look, you'll spar a lot at your gym, Brickhouse Boxing, but you'll probably go to the oh, future yeah. gyms to get kind of experiences, yeah. different fighters. Do they try and like go harder on you, get one over on you, just because of who your father is? Not necessarily because of that, but I think it's just because of boxing is a different sport. Because whereas kickboxing and MMA, I trained both of those sports, and it's different paces. You know, boxing it's it's just it's just the way the lifestyle is, man. They all go hard. They all they all trying to you know get good work and 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 be on their best on their on their best skills every time. So it, it's just the culture, I I I believe. Because every gym I spar with, and then all of the guys that are even friends with me, when we get to spar, it's that the friends is the friends is literally outside of the ring once we step in there it's just like we're just trying to like kill each other pretty much you know <laughs> yeah i guess so it would be we quite competitive to say the least but could you, obviously your career moving forward do you see you being a kickboxer boxer in mma where do you see like which specific like area of combat sport we'd be moving into do you reckon you know, I'm just saying strictly to boxing. I don't know. My brother might be doing uh, some MMA fights soon. So, but I, I don't know as far as that. How 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 is how is he feeling? How is he thinking? But I think if anybody were to do it from from my family, it will probably be my my little brother. Okay, nice, nice. Sounds pretty good. Then before I let you go, though, anyone else on Misfits that catches your eye that you might see a potential fight between you and them in the near future at all? There's a lot of money being made on Misfits. There. Man, there's there's actually a few good, but I really like uh King Kenny's performance again against Winderson. I mean, I love Winderson. Winderson is like is like an idol in my country, so I would like to to get that back in blood, how they say here in the U.S. <laughs> but yeah, King Kenny, it, it would be a good matchup. Um, Saul Poppy, and you no, know, he's a softball. I love uh uh tr sparring softball, so I feel like he he he's probably around my weight class. He'll probably be a good a good challenge. I was actually offered uh, to fight. It was it wasn't a negotiation for me to to potentially fight him. So um, hopefully that gets to happen in the future because I think that's a really good fight. Uh, and there's that's there's there's probably another few guys too, but I will have to uh, take a deep, deep look into that. Sorry about that. That's all good, all good. Yeah, I guess the King Kenny fight storyline wise would be quite good because you could say to Winnison Nunez, "I did what you didn't, mate. I got your win back for you." Like, obviously, he's so big. In Brazil, I wouldn't be like that, you know. I'm mean, just like, yo, I got it back for us, you know. It's you know, you were like, oh, Winderson, mate, I beat him, I got it, I got it done. <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta give a, 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 you know, a fair shout out to the guy because you know he came out with the Brazilian colors, the Brazilian music, like, like he, he, he played that mental warfare kind of, kind of good. I don't know if that played a toll on on Winderson's head, but I, I, I think he did a, a good job. You know, he was, he was very relaxed in there. You know, you want to establish that, that you want to be assertive of that in the beginning of the fight, because then as as the rounds goes on and you feel the guy's power, you can't do that type of stuff anymore. So I feel like King Kenny, he set the tone in the beginning. So I think that that, that why that's why he did so good against him. Even going down to his friends to pay to score the ringside or wearing the Argentina shirts, all these little oh. things, I guess. I guess they all add up. I, I didn't see that. that I see that. That's kind of cool. I didn't see that. So you see, he, he's, he's doing it right. Yeah, certainly. Um, but if Misfits ever have a card in Brazil, I guess maybe next year there might be a chance of that. Maybe a card in Rio. Would that be a I'm fight? You'd, would that be a card you'd want to be on yourself? I'm on there. Brazil, I got. I gotta go in there. Cause, I, I, bro, I always had this thing about fighting. There's two things like as an athlete that I ha I have it on my goal list is either to share a card with my dad and have a, a fight in Brazil. So you know, if that if they present that opportunity to me, I'm definitely taking. Imagine that card. You have Josie Aldo, yourself, Anderson Silva, Winston Nunes. Oh, be, yeah. How many? So if you had a card like that, what's the arena? Because I don't, I don't, I've never been to Brazil before. One of my mates, Pedro, he's from Brazil. But um, what's the biggest? What arena would it likely to be in? And what's the capacity? Do you reckon? Man, there, there, there's a few arenas, man. Because you, you got to remember, Brazil is big on soccer, so there's a lot of soccer stadiums, man. Uh, there's like the arena that my dad headline UFC Rio. Um, I forgot what what, what it's called. But then, yeah, there's there's some big stadiums in Rio, man. Sao Paulo has some big stadiums as well. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot of places that it could, it could be done at and potentially be, bring a huge crowd as well. So a huge crowd would be like what thirty, forty thousand people? Do you reckon? 
if not more, probably, probably for sure. Easily. I find it odd how it's not more like the UFC and boxing. They don't put more Brazilian cards on because when Brazilian, they always pick that one fighter and the whole country gets behind him. It's kind of the same for the UK, but not as big. But America, I guess everyone has their fan bases, but a fighter from Brazil, the whole country goes behind, gets behind him and kind of cheers them on almost. They all come out. So I feel like they're missing the boat if they don't put a card on in Brazil. Yeah, uh, I feel like one, because, you know, uh, I, I feel like it would be a good comeback fight for Winderson uh, because he's a – bro, he sells out stadiums there doing his his um, comedy shows. So it, it's uh, – there's a documentary you can watch, and it's, like, insane. So, you know, like, they would love to see – when he fought uh, Fritas, uh, he was a former Brazilian world champion. It was, it was a pretty big event, too. A lot of people showed out for that, so – yeah, man, that guy, that guy could, could, could gather some Brazilians together, bro. <laughs> yeah, certainly, certainly sell a few yeah. tickets. But Gabriel, I won't take too much of your time, but I do really appreciate it today. I'll see you in rainy Newcastle. Bring a jumper, bring a coat, maybe an umbrella. <laughs> Gonna plan <laughs> ahead, but I do appreciate you coming on the Zoom. Anything you want to shout out, social media wise? Where can we find you on your Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, that sort of thing? Man, I want to shout out all you guys supporting, all you guys tuning into this fight, man. It's going to be a great show. I'm trained, I'm prepared. Um, I'm going to put on a show for you guys. And guys, can find me on all social media platforms at Gabriel Silva, Bo- at Gabriel Silva Boxing. Awesome. I'll put your Instagram link in the description. But Gabe, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Have a good one.